An Omaha native watches war unfold from inside a bomb shelter in Israel as the fighting rages near him tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. So many have died, so many have been hurt. Israel declared war following the unprecedented attack from Hamas militants this weekend. KETV Newswatch 7's Joey Savchek spoke with one family caught in the chaos. She joins us live tonight. Rob, Julie, Nebraskans who are trying to understand this outburst of violence can turn here to the Tri-Faith Center. They might not have all the answers, but they do encourage discussion about a nuanced and once again deadly conflict. The kidnappings, killings and bombs exploding across the world hit close to home for many Nebraskans. There's no other way to really describe it other than saying it's been hell. Ari Brodke grew up in Omaha, but has built his life in Israel with his wife, Lior. Now that life is disturbed by violence committed by Hamas. Violence the couple describes as unlike anything they've seen. Everyone knows someone that either was there and survived or was kidnapped or murdered or injured or... Or we don't know. We don't even know. It's a trying time for Omaha's Tri-Faith Initiative, too. Many people in our community have been harmed or are hurting as a result um, of what is happening in the Middle East. The one-of-a-kind campus houses a synagogue and a mosque, along with a church. Its director, Wendy Goldberg, wants to see Nebraskans ask questions about that which they don't understand and stay vigilant in the fight against anti-Semitism and Islamophobia in the U.S. We have to be cautious, and yet we can't close our hearts. Back in a home office doubling as a bomb shelter, Ari Brodke implores his American family, friends, and former neighbors to keep watching. I don't want to say that it's the sum of all fears, but it really is the absolute worst possible situation that you could imagine. And Dry Faith leadership says they've already received requests from organizations all across the country, turning here towards Omaha for advice on how to help their congregants who are reeling from this ongoing violence. Reporting live, Joey Safchik, KETV, Newswatch 7.